you. Hi, buddy. Oh, Buzz is about to get his food. Yeah. Yeah. Good, good boy. boy. You did good. You did good. Oh. oh. Yeah, what? no. We're not going to do that. Yo. <laughs> Hi. Yeah. Good boy. See what I did with the water? See if maybe it lasts. Good boy, Brady. Okay, we'll be back soon. We'll be back really soon. At your classical music. What's up everybody? Welcome to this video. Today is Sunday, March the 5th. Right now, we're on our way to Austin to meet up with um, Parker and Jen at Golden Creek for lunch, which is always delicious. Look at all the baby cows! How many there are? They're all babies. Oh. Anyway. Oh my gosh, and there were more of <laughs> uh, I'm happy, but I'm heartbroken at the same time. And you guys saw that we were putting putting Brady in his crate. We're trying to teach him because he is not allowed to be out of the crate whenever we're not around. We learned that. Several times. The hard way. It, I mean, we left the room empty because we weren't sure, but he found things to tear up that were in the room that... Like a door. Like a door. We flipped the water. We lost it. I don't know. And he, he ate and peed on our tax receipts. <laughs> a bunch of them. So my accountant's gonna love that. And he moved, oh, and last time, oh, he just, anyway, so trying to teach him to, um, that it's okay to chill for a bit and we will always be back, we will come back. So if you guys have any tips on crate training um, dogs, leave it in the comments below because we're absolutely lost with this. But we're gonna sit down and chat with you guys about the trailer, how our purging of things in the house is going. He's been killing it with getting rid of everything. You guys saw that I went through my closet. We went through the kitchen and he's going through everything in the house. So we have a full room of just things that are gonna be gone. We're selling at a garage sale. Hopefully people will take them. I'm thinking of doing like a buy one, get 10 items free promo for our yard sale. <laughs> Whatever we don't sell, we're gonna take to Goodwill or his parents are gonna take it to their church depending on what it is. We just need to get rid of it. So we're gonna sit down and chat with you guys about that very soon. I'm gonna show y'all our lunch and then we will see y'all back at the house. I found it sprouts you guys seen this at Whole Foods sometime last week and I didn't end up buying it and apparently the internet said that I regretted it so <laughs> I went ahead and got it today and I'm so excited about it. I'm gonna try it right now so I just taste tested this and didn't hit record because I'm old <laughs> and I don't know technology um, this is really good you guys this is the not a moo birthday cake cookie dough flavor. That's a combination of sprinkles, cookie dough, and frosted yellow cake. It's really delicious, and I wish that I had the taste test for you, <laughs> but whatever. Um, yeah, highly recommend. Very delicious. Hey! Here we go. Get comfortable with me. Are you done? No. Why are you so low? I look giant. We've worn out the center of this. There you go. How's this? Well then don't do it. This is our RV update. I believe Blair, Blue Blairy Fitness over here. She left off with you, uh, let's see, we were getting the RV on Saturday, Friday, 
someday during the week. Uh, we did not do that. We do not have our trailer yet. We, uh, we are still getting ready for it, which, I mean, we really didn't need the trailer because we weren't going to move into it yet. We were just excited to get it. Blair was a little bummed. Um, yeah, so that's kind of where we left off. So, the, the reason why we didn't get the trailer Saturday... I guess we can talk about that. Yeah. Apparently a hitch is needed, right? Yeah. A hitch is needed for a trailer. Uh, they got that hitch, said that we, they were going to call me on Wednesday. They didn't do that. Put it off calling them, I guess, until Thursday or Friday. Uh, by the time I got in touch with them, they said, well, Saturday's full, the day we were supposed to go. And then they said, well, anytime next week should be good. And so I was like, I just kind of went with it. I said, Friday, uh, Blair was a little week. bumped. Yeah, that's but this coming week. Friday. Yeah, a week away from <laughs> the original date, the second original date, <laughs> Friday. And I was like, okay, um, I'm good with that. I can take a whole day off that day or do whatever I need to do. So we're hoping to get our trailer. We're gonna basically ever. call them every day this week and make sure mm. that Friday is good. They have to install the hitch in our car, uh, which doesn't have a lot of time, but the braking system is what takes a long time. Okay, so but they, here's the thing. Yeah. Now we're talking about how we might need to just get another car, a truck, because down... Okay, we just started talking oh. about that. We just started <laughs> talking about so that much. like 30 minutes ago. There's Not so even much. that. So we don't know. We might be getting a new car. It's just things that keep coming up that we hadn't originally thought, and we're not even in the trailer yet. So it's like, I hope that once we get in this thing, we'll have some time of smooth sailing, but I know that we're not going to. It's been an interesting adventure, just learning yeah. to uh, roll with the punches and just take on more monthly payments, you know? Just dig ourselves deeper into debt. It's all good. It's not true at all. <laughs> we are paying less per month already. We're figuring out a home base, so to speak. Mm -hmm. So I, I do. I will be coming back here for work every once in a while. Uh, I mean, this it's where Roe is stationed, you know, my, my company. Um, and so we will be coming back here. My parents are here. They are actually helping us set up a sort of a spot where we can park the RV and then we wouldn't have to pay anything, which is nice. So we're figuring all of this out still and we're not even in the trailer yet, so. We make the mistake so you don't have to. <laughs> yeah. The, the issue with the Xterra is that it's, since it's not designed to pull a ton of weight, it can pull the trailer, but it's gonna put a lot of wear and tear on it like immediately we're we're going into this knowing that we're going to need to trade in the car pretty soon Thin and gear. our yeah. thought was why have them install the hitch and the braking system into the xterra if we're just going to trade it in within some odd months even the trade-ins that we're looking at i believe we would probably be paying the same amount per month as well we'll keep yeah. you guys updated on that too so much going on <laughs> a lot a lot going on but it's all really good things don't think that i'm complaining it's just I get overwhelmed with decisions. So there's a yeah. lot of big decisions that we're making right now and there's a lot of big changes coming and my anxiety flares up whenever that happens. So that's that's me. I'm happy. You're but, good lately. But my anxiety is, it, it comes and goes. About all of this. But it's all good things. All good things. So you want to show them the room of Steph? Guess we need to throw some lights on. It, it is on. <laughs> around the uh, camera light for us. Oh, okay, we'll do this room real quick. <laughs> let I'm me show talking about that room in there. Let me, okay, let me show y'all. I bought a uh, little studio light for the lighting in our house here sucks. So this is what I bought. $15 on Amazon. It's just an umbrella with an LED bulb. But without this, this is the lighting in the room. We call it mood lighting. It's like drab and sad. I, I mean, check out the... Not the mood you want. Check out the fan we got. <laughs> so I could just carry this around behind you. Go through this real quick. Yeah, these are our home goods. So I, this room over here, which there used to be these doors blocking this area. It's here. Yeah, our couch was right here, which is now <laughs> here. So yeah, we're keeping the couch. I can see my hand. Good. Yeah, we're keeping the couch. We're keeping the, the giant TV stand. That's going to fit in the RV. This is definitely going to fit in the RV. <laughs> no, this is uh, this is going to my office. Um, we're upgrading the office with our stuff. These are our uh, fashion accessories and bags and stuff like that. You guys remember my video where I went through all my clothes? And so shoes. There, okay, there's some shoes in there. And I have more Got to some go shoes. Through. We have a pirate costume, fairy costume, you know. 
The usual. Pirate fairy. Yeah, usual stuff. Most people are into, right? Wait, I thought we were going to keep this for the RV. And over here we have all of our kitchenware. It's not a crazy amount, I guess, but... Mm. Pulled all this stuff out of our kitchen. Like, uh, this, this was stuff that we thought we needed, guys. Yeah. We thought we needed all this shit. We haven't touched it in like a year. I don't crazy. know, we, we use the KitchenAid uh, toaster oven a lot. Okay, most of the stuff we didn't really use at all. Yeah. So I have this wicker basket down here. We, I mean, we didn't... I don't know, we, we kind of forced things to happen. Like, we, we made use out of things that we didn't really need to. Whenever we moved into this bigger place, we thought we needed more stuff to fill it. So we got more things, we went out of our way to use them, but we really just didn't didn't need them. I have VHS tapes back here. Prince you of Egypt. You insisted on having those here, and we didn't watch a single one. I mean, because someone didn't ever want to watch. Okay, getting rid of that. We're getting rid of a lot of books because there's things called audiobooks now. Pretty interesting. I think y'all should look it out. Just Google it. Yeah, it's a thing. Getting rid of Twister. That's heartbreaking. We are not getting rid of the piano. I wish uh, I could still play. You could play. I could. That's, that's some, it's in there. I used, no, I really used to be able to play a few things with my light up keyboard. It taught me how to play. Electronics. <laughs> okay, we've already sold a lot of them, but. Just kind of zoom in on you. Okay, hey guys, so hopefully y'all enjoyed this video and this little update. Uh, feel free to ask any questions below. Again, we don't really know what we're doing, but we can surely give you our thought process as we go along. I hope you guys are enjoying just the pure openness and honesty that we're giving to you guys about this process because this is so new to us. I mean, a year ago, we didn't think that this was even going to be possible right now. So I hope with this journey as a process is to show you guys that if you want to make something happen, you can do it because if we can do this, Anybody can do this. The hardest part is probably figuring out your income. So we built that. There is that part. But if you can think of any way, I mean, there's several videos how to make money on the road, like RVing, or just how to work from home. A lot of those, you just need internet. And you can probably figure out Wi-Fi from there. Sometimes businesses will pay for Wi-Fi. Like, like you said, if, if we can do everything else though, besides the income part. Income is probably the toughest part to figure out. We just kind of developed our own area. Again, we've been trying to make this happen for a while. That was me another six months probably. Mm -hmm. um, and then something, something happened. Yeah, something happened. We, we made it happen, so what yeah. happened? So thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure and you hit that thumbs up before you go. If you are new, please subscribe to the channel. We're gonna be bringing you videos on our travels and RV lifestyle update. I also do fitness and food and health and mindset type videos and coaching. So all of the information is below and thank you guys for watching. We'll see y'all in the next video. Bye. I'm hungry. Okay, let's go eat some. Hungries.